Whenever I don't like a woman who has an online presence, I now know to ask myself, why though? Why do I hate this woman? So um, some people have called it the Jennifer Lawrence effect or the j Law effect. She was so hot at Silver Linings Playbook, won the Oscar, fell down while on their way up there. It was all cool. That's what cool, girl, cool girls do. We're klutzes. I am, I'm a klutz. I was like, oh my God, that's really what I would do. She embarrassed herself a lot. Like she was relatable. Some might even have called her adorkable, but that's more like Zoe. And then the media flipped on her as they do every time a woman in the public eye is liked a little bit too much. And that is one reason why I am constantly living in fear of having a platform or even of it getting bigger. I need it to grow in order to do what I love to do, to share this information, to tell my stories. Like this is like all I've ever wanted to do is use my creativity and my lived experiences and the lessons that I've learned from those to maybe help someone inspire someone, at the very least, entertain someone. I don't know. And yet, I think of her all the time. Her and a long list of women that I all of a sudden just didn't like, but I didn't know why. And every time someone in my comments is like, oh my God, I love your stuff, you're so great. I'm like, Ooh, but please, one day's gonna come where you disagree with me and then you're gonna hate me. Because that is what we do. This is what we do to women. We do it even more so to black, indigenous, and other women of color, more violent, when it happens to them. And women are guilty of doing this. We do this to ourselves. We do it to each other. It's not just men, but men control the media. Men write almost everything. They fund everything. Everything is for their, per their point of view, from their point of view. So there's another name for this. And I'm gonna show this clip because I, I think we always need to have this in mind, especially when we are unpacking all this stuff, internalized misogyny, when we're decentering men, while we're trying to get our brain unforked from the, all this crap we we're indoctrinated with. It all intersects, right? It's not just, it's patriarchy, white supremacy culture, capitalism, ableism, uh, homophobia, all of it. It's all, ah! Shot in Florida, the experience of pleasure, joy, or self-satisfaction that comes from witnessing the humiliation of another. We have a lot of delight in watching women who make themselves visible fall. There's a cultural pattern of women being brought down who dare to be seen. It's a shot across the back for the rest of us, a warning of what happens when you become visible, what happens when people pay attention to you, what happens when you express your gifts. We love when they're put back in their place, ideally below us. Cheer these women on in the ascent, and then they hit a critical point where it's too much and we destroy them. Or if we're not actively destroying them, we celebrate their destruction. It's envy because so many of us are scared to be seen, express ourselves, or feel like we just can't do that. And, and this is the blueprint of persecution for visible women. I've done it. You've done it. We've all done it. We've all participated in that. I mean, when I'm thinking about Britney right now, everybody loves Britney. Everyone feels sorry for Britney. Everyone can't believe what she went through. Everyone, not everyone, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like, we're finally like, oh my God. And at the same time, I'm like, uh-oh, uh-oh. When is it gonna turn around? When are the, when is it, when are we gonna pull her back down? Because it happens every time, y'all. I remember right after Britney got freed, she got scared, as she should. She knows where this goes. So in this article, it says, uh, it seems Britney has noticed this effect happening again as the media fans have become obsessed with Britney once more. Since the end of her conservatorship, Britney deleted her Instagram writing and captions. Don't ever pity me. I don't want to be loved. I want to be feared. Being loved and being nice got me taken advantage of. So take your pity and go fuck <laughs> yourself. I hope that we are learning in this moment just how much we hate women. We hate women. Women hate women. We all hate women and we want them back in their place. We're jealous of them. We fear what they're doing because maybe that's a reflection of us. It, like, and then, and, oh, oh God, they're so, it's so deep, y'all. This was in Harper's Bazaar a couple years ago. It's a really great piece. And there's more than 10 examples. There's so many examples. I could do a whole video on each of these women. Maybe I will. Let me know if you want someone for me to focus on. Obviously, Brittany alone could get like 15 videos. But I love what she says here. It's easy to blame the tabloid press for what happened to Spears and to the many others. But more uncomfortably, we must look inward and recognize our own complicity in the way that we may have judged women in the limelight and how eagerly We've clicked on stories about their downfall or gossiped about them with friends. Now, I do want to acknowledge that one of the reasons why we relate so much to celebrities, we talk so much about celebrities, 
is because it's like common ground, right? And we project onto them. And a lot of times we idolize them and we do all these things. And that's actually pretty normal. It's not healthy, but it's normal. And it's not unhealthy always, but you know what I'm saying. And we are allowed to criticize anyone. Right now, Amy Schumer. I always question when I don't like a woman. And I think, is this the media convincing me to hate her? Is this me being jealous? Or is she being very problematic right now? Yes, she is. Go look it up. So we are allowed to criticize women. I'm not saying that we're not allowed to. But before I do, I try to remember to ask myself, why? Where is this coming from? If a woman is selling something, like, I mean, the Kardashians, I do not like them. I do not like what they are selling. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like the influence they're having over women. I think it's very destructive. I'm allowed to have that opinion. But whenever I see one of them and I'm like, eh, I, I, you know what I mean? We have to question ourselves. Where is this coming from? Because we are all complicit in tearing these women down. And sometimes they literally lose their lives over it. And because they're women, they are not given the same grace as men. And the very first example that I think of when I see all the press that Matthew Perry is getting right now, and it is so full of love. And if anyone dares to say anything bad, like, I don't know, like I made a video the other day, like, hey, you know, I have some empathy for him, but also there's people who lived with this man through his addictions, and that is a very painful experience. So this is a complex day for people. You know what I mean? And I swear, like someone wrote one for the New York Times today. I'm gonna talk about it in another video. You should see the comments. Really? You get mad? How, do you, how can you talk about the dead that way? But she did not get this treatment. Whitney was destroyed in the media. She was constantly criticized when she lost weight. She was made fun of for her substance abuse. Made fun of. And literally torn down by the media up until her death in 2012. And then, I mean, I, I gotta watch this. Diane Sawyer has so many problematic interviews. You know, so, I mean, she probably has a male producer, a male director, a male la 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 la. But, you know, women will do men's violence for them in a nicer, more passive aggressive way. Or not so passive. Rihanna, the way we treat her. Janet Jackson, like, I mean, I've already talked about her in terms of Les Moonves and how he destroyed her career. But a lot of people were along for that ride. She deserves a whole video and uh, justice for Janet Jackson and fork Justin. Meghan Markle, I did videos about that when the, their and Netflix came out last year. Like. We do this with white women, but misogynoir is next level. Do you remember when she first got engaged? Oh my God, an American princess. I was like, wow, like it's princess, princess, but all the women's back, princess, 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 Megan, 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 Megan. And then, whack, this, she almost took her own life. Now the British media is all next level awful, misogynistic, racist, and all the terrible things. They, they slut shame me, 17 tabloids about dating younger men. And that was just like once. Cannot imagine what it's like to be these women. I first started noticing this when it happened to Anne Hathaway. I mean, I thought she was kind of annoying, but I just didn't care about her. And after the Oscars, I was like, whoa, okay, I guess we're hating Anne Hathaway now. Why? And it's only getting worse, y'all. I know the early 2000s were a really hard time for women, but now we have a whole nother le level. And this is gender trolling. Great piece in The Guardian if you want to read it. Online hate has become a tool of the right and a lucrative business. It's driving women out of public life, putting democracy and human rights at risk, monetizing misogyny, and women fall for it too. We fall for this. When I was just writing, I would have things go viral. Didn't really impact me much. Nobody knew what I looked like. Now that I've taken my storytelling to like where you see my face, I actually live in constant fear because when men find me and women, but mostly men, they, they straight up stalk me. And y'all know, I've talked about this before. That one time it was absolutely terrifying. So they go after political opponents, journalists. It's not just celebrities and influencers. It's any woman in the public with a big platform. Hate is a business model and not all women persist. Some literally die from this. This is a great movie about it. One of my mutuals is in it. Her story is enraging and she had to move. They terrorized her. She had to move. They broke into her house. This is the name in French. This is the name in English. I've heard it's on Apple TV. Just Google it. I, there's, a, I can think of 30 women right now. They end up becoming addicts. They're blamed for the death of men in their lives. Always. They spend their whole lives defending themselves. The most unbelievable women. And only after they die or are at the end of their life are we like, maybe we should have done better. Even the ones who didn't ask to be in the media, their lives are ruined. And some of them die tragically young. Hating women is a business.